Hey, what's going on guys? Evan from Model 3D and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I made this 3D printed light up fairy door. So first off I started in Fusion 360. Um, this is a really simple kind of like computer aided design CAD program. Um, it's completely free if you run a small business and you earn under 100 grand a year or you're a teacher or you're a student in school anything like that, college, university, whatever. So I used this program, a um, few little kind of simple shapes, a um, few little sketches, didn't have to be complicated, completely basic, and then this is a little knocker, and then I just basically saved it as an STL, changed the STL to an OBJ, and imported that file into ZBrush. So I've been using it for a little while, I'm kind of still new to it, um, so I'm just going to grips with it, but there's three kind of main tools that I really use. They are the clay buildup, that's just to um, chuck clay on top of a surface. I use Damien Standard, which is right there. Um, that cuts shapes out like a nice kind of scribe and then I use Trim Dynamic um, which is really good for kind of flattening rocks out and all that kind of stuff. I printed it using the um, Voltivo XL Fill Tech Line, the wood filament, and so it's actual wood. Um, it smells absolutely amazing when you're printing it. Um, it took about 13 hours and it was printed at a 0.10 layer height. Um, so yeah, next it was up time for painting as you can see the wood stayed as wood and then it was time for some painting I added I started off with the stone paint that I used in a previous video, but it didn't really do anything so I Used a gray paint a normal or gray acrylic and then I put a nice little wash all over the wood um, And when it had a few minutes to soak in I wiped it straight off just to give a bit of depth and a bit of texture to the wood um, next up was when the gray was dry I I'd used a dry brushing technique with some white paint which is basically just rubbing off all the paint until it's almost dry and then just scuffing the edges just to give the rocks a little bit more realistic look and yeah once I had sorted that I put a few more little additions a bit of black in the grooves all that kind of stuff and there we have it I ended up adding a little LED circuit it's nothing major I haven't even soldered it I just super glued them together just for the purpose of this video um, but got a little bit of plastic scuffed it out just to give it a bit of a diffuser um, added a little LED circuit with a flicker in orange light um, so when it's up against the wall or it's outside next to a tree or something it gives it that kind of homely look a candle or a fire inside the house which I thought was really cool so if you want to print this for yourself the file is going to be available on Patreon it's going to be an OBJ and an STL for whatever you want to do with it if you want to carry on sculpting it go ahead um, the Patreon is only one dollar a month if you're interested um, it really really helps the channel it helps me purchase new equipment it helps make my videos better all that kind of stuff so i really really appreciate it so yeah hope you liked it and i'll see you in the next one